Well, it's a, it's a puppet for Peter and the Star Catcher. Plays an integral role in uh, Peter's development, and it's made out of foam rubber. This one, it took me about 45 minutes. Um, yeah, and it's 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 always uh, somewhat of a peaceful enterprise carving. We have this little thing, which will make it go yes, yes. We have this little thing, which will make it go woo 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 woo. <laughs> and then you have me, which will go wow, I'm doing a combination. I think it's about connecting, thinking like the puppet sort of projecting yourself onto the puppet and experiencing the world through the puppet rather than through your own eyes. I started making puppets probably around uh, fifth grade. I was enthralled with Jim Henson. I started carving a, a mattress that my grandfather had uh, into puppets. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Thinking of what the perspective of the bird is having. So even though maybe the bird is way up high, you have to think what the bird is seeing, what the bird is experiencing, how it's, how it's feeling about the wind, what, what the effects the wind has on it, and then maneuvering and saying, oh, oh, there's a gust, oh my, I've got to, I've got to change tactics here. <laughs> Dreaming, thinking about how things work, and then putting it together. It, it really is about putting yourself into the character, which is, in this sense, piece of foam rubber. <laughs>